What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mel. Welcome back to another video, man. Now, listen, today, as you know, when I have no face cam, I'm going to be talking about some real stuff. And as the title shows, I'm about to be showing you guys how to get Tiny Tasks, which is the macro that everybody uses for Roblox. And you can use it for a lot of stuff too as well, man. So make sure you do stay tuned, man. And look at the video in full, man, because a lot of you ask questions or say stuff that's already been answered in the video or already been addressed in the video. So watch the video fully, man. Do not skip anything, all right? Watch it because I, I don't know, man. It's like, I, I don't want to go down in the comments and answer questions that I've already answered in the video, all right? I'm gonna try to cover everything and if I haven't covered it, then I will answer those questions. But if I already covered it, it's a good chance I probably won't answer your question because it's just like, it's in the video, bro. It's just not really much I can do. But anyway, let's get into it. But like I always say, make sure you shake up the spray can. We color it like a subscribe button if you join the content, man. Leave a comment, man. I do reply to comments, man. Have some more time with the king. Join Clan Neo. All right, let's get into it. Now, for starters, I'm gonna be going over how to actually download it. So I'm gonna put down a link in the description for the media fire of uh, file, man. All right, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna upload a file right here. There you go. And now it should make it where if you type in the link, it should bring you to the actual Google Drive thing. All right. So yeah, man, once you go here, you should be able to download this whole thing. And then once you download this, now, now that this file is zipped, it should go ahead and download to your computer. Yep, just like that. And I use a app called WinWar. So I'll leave the WinWar uh, link in the description as well. This is probably like the safest way because I know a lot of you probably have like the sketchy ones or you can just type in Tiny Task, all right? So you can either download it from that or you can go to Tiny Task, type out Tiny Task in the, in the description. And it should be the, I think it's the Siphonic one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's the Siphonic one. You can go ahead and download it from here. Make sure that you have the right download. So when you download it from the Siphonic one, it should be the free downloads for Windows, man. No thanks. Don't download nothing else except for the tiny task and download everything else from the official website. All right, this is the best way to do it, how to avoid viruses and all that. So basically download it from Siphonic. Like I said, I'll leave the links in the description. Then once you download it, it should automatically start and then you just keep and then it should allow you to actually open up tiny task all right now since i already have it open it's probably gonna open up another instance yeah it did so yeah i'm just gonna close that out but yeah man that's probably like the a good way to do it or you can download it through the google drive way that i was talking about um most likely i'm gonna have it where you just uh download the actual just tiny task exe which is this but uh, I'm probably going to just include the whole package because I do understand that uh, sometimes you just need more stuff than the actual EXE. So I'm not completely sure of that, but I'm going to share both of them so you can download both of them just in case. And then I'm also going to leave the link in the description for the WinWar. Uh, WinWar, you can get like a free trial or whatever, and it'll allow you to use it. But um, for some reason, my WinWar never runs out. So I think that this is completely free, if I'm not mistaken. And if this one isn't free, you can use WinZip. But WinZip actually does uh, run out. So make sure you guys do like use it wisely. You know, I mean, this probably will be the only time you use it until like you have to do something that requires you to use a lot of zips, you know. But if you want a full WinWar guide, I'll make one in how to get like infinite WinWar status and all that. But yeah, man, for WinWar, you just basically type a WinWar and then you go to download. It should bring you to the download tab and then you go here to WinWar, whatever your version is, uh, and then type up, or you just, uh, yeah, yeah, you type up, you go to your PC and then you go to uh, about PC. And most of you are probably have the 64-bit uh, if you are on like a desktop. And if you're on a laptop, it's probably like a 32-bit unless you are unless you have a specific laptop, which is 64-bit. So make sure you do look at which one you are. So in order to do that, like I said, you type up about PC, and then you will find it right. Let's see where is it? Where is it? Right here. System type operating system, 64-bit operating system. Make sure you download the right one because if you don't, then there's probably gonna be some complications. But yeah, man, you go here, click on it. Boom, and it's gonna allow you to download WinWar, but I already have it, so I'm not downloading it, all right? So that's how you download TinyTask and WinWar, and then once you get WinWar, go and open it up, 
do a zip file you got tiny task portable right here and then you basically just extract this to your desktop or wherever you want it and then it should become a file like the one i have here open this up and then it should be all of this and you just type on you just uh click on tiny task portable and there you go man that's pretty much how you get tiny tasks and now i'm about to show you guys how to actually use it all right man so now that we loaded it into a random game uh as soon as it get finished completely loading i'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually go about this man so uh let's just speed it up a little bit because i do understand i want to get this video out and i also want it to be kind of fairly fast so. all right so when you get into tiny task you basically are gonna see all of this right preferences you want to have continuous playback on based off of what you're doing so if you're repeating or you're repeating a certain uh keyboard thing you know then you want to basically turn this on but if you only only wanted to do it once to keep it unchecked make sure your recording key is on something that makes you feel comfortable i put mine on f8 to record and then my play is on print screen so playback is how you play it and then recording hotkey is how you record uh this is your play speed don't mess with this and that's pretty much it man and then you can go here to save whatever document you have so like let's record something real quick so like say i want to do uh all for one or something like that i press f8 and then i'll just i'll just uh, spam my moves so make sure you don't move your mouse you can move the arrows like this but do not move the mouse because if you move the mouse then it will kind of mess up so uh yeah man because your, your actual mouse is gonna like you know start spazzing and stuff so yeah man you can walk forward if you want but i don't recommend it you just let them come to you and eventually you will be all right this probably isn't going to kill him but yeah so i'm trying not to move as much because if you move like i said it's going to be different every single time so it's not like he's going to do the same moves in the same way so you basically want to just stay completely still uh usually i'll put on my auto clicker as well but uh for the purpose of this video i'm just going to keep it out because i know a lot of you probably don't have auto clickers but my, 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 a good amount of you probably will you know and that's that now i'm going to stop recording after just spamming my moves a little bit more just in case it went over and then i'm gonna press stop record all right so now that i start recording that when we go back into it again i'll just play the i'll just play the um the playback and then i won't i won't move at all like just to show you guys that it's legit all right all right man now that we in here i'm just gonna select my character hit shift lock and then turn around and then basically just use it uh yeah and then it should just do its thing man um for this i probably would have put continuous playback on just so it can like you know do its thing better so yeah so i use that let's see what else it does um yep sunade and no nah, i'm not i'm not touching my keyboard at all man it's just this is just what it's doing you know so I could have done it better, but I was kind of rushing because of the video. But if you want a better way on how to AFK farm all this stuff for Anime Mania and other games, just let me know and I'll do some videos on it. But my boy, like I said, yo, it's Goose. Uh, I might, I'll, I'll shout him out. He probably gonna leave a comment on this video. So if he does, then you guys will know who he is. But it's yo, it's Goose. Um, he does a lot of Anime Mania AFK videos. So if you guys want any of those, then just go check his channel out. And uh, yeah, man, because like I said, he was doing it before i was so i'm not gonna like you know necessarily just like overrun my man stuff like he an upcoming youtuber so make sure you go subscribe to his channel all right and uh yeah man i think i think if i did it like differently it would have came out differently but uh kind of like i said rushed this so let me see did the playback stop yeah so the playback stop you'll know if it stopped if it doesn't have the little numbers on it again so like i said if i did this better usually you'll have to do it from go like like from when you select your characters so it would uh basically like transfer over but because i did it from in game it didn't like necessarily mess well because you would have to get the timing right but it's not that necessary you seen that it works it was moving by itself man uh you could basically just i, I use it to do the kaguya raid so like i said earlier so hey man it works man you just got to make sure you time it right make sure you do it right all right but with that being said let me know if you guys like this video if you want to see more afk videos or macro videos or how to do these videos let me know and i'm also going to come out with a um a auto clicker video too as well 
so you guys can get that and uh yeah man make sure you join the discord make sure you join the group and yeah oh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe